this is B. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you like, share, and subscribe if you like my content. But let's just get into your reading. What day is it? <laughs> Hold on, what day is it? Tuesday. It's Tuesday. August <laughs> August 10th. Yep. Tuesday, August 10th. Let's see what's up. I just came back from a nice long walk, got washed up. Um, I've got a cinnamon roll in the oven. I'm excited about that. Ooh, look at that. We got the Queen of Pentacles out here. Could be a wife, could be a mother. Let's see what's going on with her. Could just be a boss. Woman who's handling her business, has her finances in check, or she's working toward that. This could also be a man, but it's showing up as the queen. What else is going on? Ooh, the end. So this Queen of Pentacles has come to some kind of uh, close on a cycle or just something that was going on in her life is over. She's moved on to the next level. I'm feeling, yeah, portal energy, which is fitting for the portal that was just going on. Oh, and fool, look at that. Hmm. So it's, it's like one world's ending and one world's beginning. The fool is like taking that leap of faith, getting ready to step off a cliff. He's not concerned about the fact that there's nothing under his feet. Some of you may need to just be a bit cautious about whatever it is you're embarking on. King of Swords, yeah. It's a need for caution here. Hmm. What's at the bottom of the deck? Ooh. Knight of Swords reversed. Knight of Swords reversed. Somebody who, or it's an energy rather, of somebody who is scattered. They may have lost their focus. They may be not rushing in, stopping. Yeah, something has come to a stop. This could be that a queen of pentacles, some kind of feminine energy, you may be watching this and you're just like done with a king of swords energy. That's what we got here last after the fool, right? I definitely wanna clarify this, but what I'm feeling is that like somebody decided not to go towards someone else. There's an earth energy here and an air energy very strongly. Then we have the fool here trumping everything, the fool in the world, which is, it's like these two people are on different paths now. At one time, you may have been in sync with a situation or a person. And you may have thought like, this person was it for you. Or if it's like a school situation, it could even be a career. Like you thought, this is what it is for me. I know this is my path. But now it's coming to a halt. It's like you're seeing something different. Perhaps you looked at it from a different perspective or someone else did. And now you're like, this isn't what I want. For some of you, it could be an engagement that's gonna separate. Now my ears ringing with that one for sure and you know what the beauty of that is sometimes you need a little clarity it's better to just face that music than to make a mistake that'll cost you your happiness in the long run right let's keep going because that needs to clarify see what this is about What else is going on with the situation? Why is the Knight of Swords reversed here? The Emperor, someone's taking control, Aries energy. Mm, taking control by holding back. Somebody purposely holding back and as a way to control somebody. Hmm, we have judgment here at the bottom of the deck. So the Knight of Swords is here because of the Emperor and the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody's like, nah, nah, something ain't gonna go down like that. Now, why is the Queen of Pentacles here? The wheel, yeah. 
I'm hearing I'm moving on by Maya in my head right now. Moving on by Maya. Yeah, the wheels here with the nine of pentacles. Please clarify the world for me. Wow, a lot came out. Knight of pentacles, something that's been really, really slow moving. The death. The eight of pentacles. The magician, mm -hmm. the hermit, the empress. So it could be somebody like who's been watching and waiting. More air energy with the empress here. Virgo energy back to back with the magician and the hermit. Ace of swords. So the theme here is definitely like clarity. Someone's eyes being open to a situation. Some kind of breakthrough and like aha moment. For somebody, it could be the hand of God coming in to be like a regulator. Like you're not going to keep... You're not going to keep going in this cycle. You're not going to keep messing with my chosen. No, no, no. No, sir. No, ma'am. And we have, yeah, the Eight of Swords. What else blew out here? Seven of Wands and Five of Swords. Yes. Yeah, so some situation that's involved a lot of trickery, deceit, having to always be like having your guard up and feeling just like you have to defend yourself constantly. Some of you are consciously fighting off negative thoughts too or intrusive thoughts. Yeah, but somebody is walking away from a situation. They're, they're giving up the fight. Somebody is giving up a fight and that's so wild because I just listened to Bonnie Raitt and she has a line in this song, I can't make you love me, where she says, um, just give me till then and I'll give up this fight and I will give up this fight. So it's like somebody knew that the, that an end was coming, but they were just kind of waiting it out. Um, why is the world here? What is this ending about? That's to me. <laughs> I'm already out of room on the table. Why is the world here? What is this ending about? Hmm, could be a Sagittarius. For, for some of you with the magician here, if somebody was trying a bunch of black magic or trying it is the key word, trying. If they kept trying to send negative energy someone's way, especially somebody who's divinely protected, this person is losing some of their protection, losing some of their gifts. Hmm. Yeah, so that might be causing them to be in the Eight of Swords energy because you might feel the difference. If you have gifts, you're, like if you're watching and you're an intuitive, you know when you feel the energy and when you don't. Oh man, this could for some of you be a fire sign who's coming out of a relationship and they want to come towards you because they see you as their partner. Could be um, maybe a Sagittarius with air in their chart, could be any sign, but really predominantly out here we have Virgo, Aries, Libra, Aquarius. That's what I feel. Is there any advice for my collective in this situation? Yes, there is. King of Swords again. Yep. So some of you may know that it's time for you to bring something to an end. If you know that the wheel's turning, hop on the wheel to your next destination. Start planning what it is you want to do next. I didn't even know my tea light had gone out. I lit this tea light. Hold on one second, you guys. Oh my God, you guys. There we go. Well, we got um, King of Swords again. So this is the advice. And you know, we ended the initial spread with the King of Swords as well. So to me, that saying, it's time for a new beginning. If you've already done the work, don't. I feel like there's a need to tell somebody not to Not to just sit idly by and wait on something. Like you have to be in control of your own life. So even if there was some sort of test that you might have missed or you might have not passed this test or somebody around you has not passed a test. If you know that you're sitting in a situation that's unfulfilling, it's not speaking to your higher purpose. And I'm just not speaking to how you feel, your inner self, your inner child, what you really want for yourself in your life. And you're only doing 
mundane everyday life because you know you need I need this to get by, I need that to get by, which is very valid in its own way. But if you're sacrificing, I'm surprised the hangman didn't come out. It's like a, a self-sacrifice here to remain in a situation that is unfulfilling. If you're listening and that makes sense to you, there may be a need for you to go within. There is a need for you to go within and figure out what it is you should be doing and where you need to be. Figure out who it is you need to get away from. Yep, that one, that one even more especially, is that if there's somebody around you that brings you down consistently, that's your body telling you that you, that person is not in your soul tribe, okay? So if you feel that a lot and you're staying in a situation that you don't belong in, it's time for you to listen. Let's get some oracles. I wanna see what the rebel deck has to say. This could also be somebody losing their job. Um, it'll be like a surprise. You might hear about something, somebody that you work with, um, possibly in a position of power, losing their job, or unfortunately passing away. So I'm sorry if that's the case. What does the collective need to know from the Rebel deck about this situation? Ooh, look at that. Shit is going down with your job. Reevaluate, change your perspective, or fucking quit. Yeah, some of you might need to look for a new job. Even if there's no heat on you, like I said, if there's a situation where you know you're not fulfilled, why are you still there? It might be a good idea to explore ways you can be fulfilled and also make money. Is there anything else from the Rebel Deck for my collective? Duh. <laughs> Don't fucking force it. <laughs> Allow that shit to come to you, okay? So yeah, there's probably a need for you to meditate or just to listen to yourself. Listen to yourself. Don't wreck your brain. But listen to yourself, your gut, your body, and, and follow that advice that it's giving you because it's always giving you advice. Al always. <laughs> oh, look at that. Stop obsessing. <laughs> Yeah, like don't stress out about it. Don't put any undue stress on yourself. But start. Start. Start to figure it out. Start to figure out how you can do you. Because that's what you need to be doing. All right. Oh yeah, and stop trying to change people because that shit never works. So if you're in a situation, like I said, I felt the energy when I was talking about people in particular who bring you down, like, it might be time for you to reevaluate your people. And it's okay. But I feel like what you guys need is also from the tea leaf. Let me just take a sip of water. And I'll pull from the tea leaf to see if they have any messages for you. And this is a big ass deck, so two, two halves. Pretty sure there'll be something, let's see. Whoa, right off the bat, this one fell on the floor though. course short journey so something will be happening soon is what that tells me December okay December this could have something to do with December or this is something that may happen in December some kind of transition that could be the, the birthday of this person I said Sagittarius earlier it could be in December clouds temporary problems okay that's always good Everything is temporary, that's important to remember. Okay. All right, we have yoke. Feeling tied down or frustrated, right? Since April, possibly. You'll be receiving or giving a precious gift or whatever goes down in December for some of you will lead to something else in the springtime of 2022. Someone will try to make you do something against your will. So there's an energy of somebody trying to coerce you in some way. Caterpillar. Things will not always be this way. Hello, amen. A change is coming. A change is coming. Oh, yeah. 
Yes, there is a change coming. Like I said, everything's temporary, okay? Joy, pain, but like sunshine and rain. When one is there, the other is only away for a little while. Ooh, in my throat. Somebody doesn't want you to think about the positive side of life. <coughs> That's shitty. Okay, so yeah, this is somebody who doesn't want you to think for yourself or somebody who doesn't want you to speak for yourself, to be vocal. So if that could be an indicator for you, <coughs> it could be this Queen of Pentacles energy. But um, the Emperor came out to clarify the Knight of Swords and the Empress came out later. So I feel like it could be somebody with air heavy in their chart who's who's been trying to like be a force in your life for their own reasons. All right, this half of the tea leaf says, bread period of prosperity and abundance it might be for some kind of personal gain for them or something they want to get from you keep from you or take from you okay so remember that precious gift thing you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift this could be somebody who wants to manipulate something away from you okay apple temptation will test you yeah, so somebody may come back with like some kind of a seduction. I don't know why I said come back. That may make sense to some of you. Uh, to seduce you in some way or to try to pull on your heartstrings. Is there anything else for the collective about this? Anything they should know before I close this up? Oh, geez. Hold on, you guys. Well, this one clearly came out. Wedge, someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something you want. Yes. So someone's trying to take a gift from you. They're trying to take something from you. Could be your actual gifts. The magician did come out earlier with the hermit. They're watching you, probably wondering how it is you do what you do. But not in the cute 60s song kind of way. It's not like, do that thing you do. No, it's not like that. They're like, how the fuck does this person make it happen? And so they want to come between you and something that's for you, which is really not cool. Anyway, I feel like this person needs to stop, okay? It's, just, it's been something that they've been working on for a long time, but the death is here for that ass. Something about it is bringing this to an end. I feel like a big part of that is going to be your own discernment. And probably help from somebody else. Let's see what else is here. Axe. Yeah, forces are working against you. What's new, right? against your happiness. Pay attention to your finances here at the bottom. Purse and then we have November at the bottom of this side. So the fall is gonna be really significant. This last four months of the year, I feel like, you know, you've been doing your thing, but if you haven't been and you're listening to this, then remember that if you're having a tough time, tough times are only temporary, all right? Which somebody doesn't want you to know. For some reason, it's like somebody around you wants you to be in misery. They've been working to do this behind your back, either with communication or with their own little weak ass spells. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to laugh. Oh yeah, I do mean to laugh at them because it's ridiculous. You're protected anyhow, right? You are protected. You have to believe and know that. All right, you do. So believe and know that. You do and you are. You are protected. All right, so with that, I'm going to say what I would recommend for you guys, don't let this stress you out because the stress that kind of is a gateway for the lower energy to welcome in. So don't ruminate on this, on this person because they've been trying for a while, but they haven't been successful. And if they have, that's coming to an end very soon. Keep your wits about you. Use your own discernment. And if you can, just, you know, take some time to spend time with yourself and with Holy Spirit, you know, pray. Strengthen your discernment. Cover yourself every day, all right? Because somebody is tripping. <laughs> but like I said, it's like I equate this person to, you know, it's like some somebody who's never going to really succeed in what they're trying. They're just trying and trying and trying. So it may create delays for you and sometimes roadblocks. But it's nothing that's going to stop your shine. 
And it's nothing that's gonna keep you in the matrix, all right? It's nothing that's gonna make you believe that there's no hope because there is hope and pain is only temporary. Joy is just around the corner, all right? You guys have a great day and I'll see you soon, bye. Oh,